What is going on guys, it is Chris and Mr Epic Games here and welcome back to ESC Weekly number 2. So in this week's episode we're going to be talking about a number of things and the first thing we're going to be talking about is the new Outlast 2 game. Basically the game is scheduled to be released in 2016 which is this year at some point and this is one of two images that have been released so far and from my point of view the first things that I see that may have stepped up the game is the quality in terms of you know the looks and maybe the feel of the game the teaser trailer was also released at the end of last year so if you want to go and check that out the link will be down in the description down below so all in all we don't really know too much about what's going to be happening in the game but what we know is that the outlast 2 is set to arrive in the fall of 2016 for pc ps4 and xbox one now over on to our next topic which is uh, a fan made Star Wars open world RPG which was cancelled. So the fan was a self taught game designer, was hoping to use a uh, Kickstarter to fund a uh, Star Wars open world RPG. He was seeking to look for $200,000 in funding for the project and hoped that the fans would agree with him that there has not been yet. Um, a good Star Wars open world RPG. The project though was cancelled after receiving over $18,000 within the first few days. And so over to our next topic which is going to be the new Destiny update which won't be released until the February of this year. So Bungie took Twitter to reveal its weekly update for Destiny which will come back in in, on January 21st 2016 and that it will offer fans a preview of the next update for the game that planned to drop at some point in February but according to the studio Guardians won't get a full reveal of Destiny's upcoming content as it will only be getting a taste of what's on the horizon so leave a comment down below whether you're excited for the new Destiny update or what things destiny should do in the next update or maybe something like a dlc maybe so on to our next topic which is the total units xbox has made calculated by how many users were online so xbox has reported that the xbox one sales are over 18 million units the xbox one found it difficult to match the reigning champion of sales which is as we know, Sony's PS4, with the rival console winning such recent battles, was well, only too recent on the Black Friday sales. But in a recent figure, based around the number of active Windows 10 users, it seems apparent that um, 18 million Xbox One users were active during the last 28 days. This may suggest that. This gives a correct estimate for the number of Xbox One consoles currently in our home. So hope you did enjoy this week's episode guys. And if you did, don't forget to show some love by smashing that like button. And hope to see you in next week's episode. See ya.